three, two, one, you know. Let me just say something which, which I can't really understand, but then I can't understand according to uh, Matthew chapter 13. Jehovah's Witness Obed Vargas, because he has to be counted as a Jehovah's Witness, he, he has not gotten baptized into the Christian church. So there, for him, there's no need for authentic Christianity. He has not got baptized yet. That's one thing. He's not accountable to any pastor or any uh, Bible story, Bible story group or any church. You understand what I'm saying? He has not gotten baptized. So you can't you can't call him born again Christian not yet. You know what I mean? I can't understand, and yet I can, according to Matthew chapter 13, because Matthew chapter 13 talks about you know the the fake Christians insinuating, insinuating themselves into the Christian church. They look like the real McCoy, but they deny the power thereof, according to Paul and his teachings. You understand what I'm saying? They have a form of godliness, but deny the authority of the power. Okay? It doesn't say to one leaves in a marriage. It says to death, you, to death do you part. To death uh, do part. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? That's what it says. It, says. it doesn't say when Nelsie leaves or something like that, or whoever leaves, or Ariza leaves. It no, it's not like that at all, man. It says, till death do us part. That's what death. Death, probably Necron there. Probably, in, that's the Necron is genital plural, but, you know, Necros probably, you know, like that. We'll, we'll check that out. Well, I mean, and just a singular for death anyway, you know, it's all over the Bible. He was raised from the dead once, and then you look look at the lexical form, uh, and then it'll be necros or so necron or whatever the case may be. You know, I could check it. I could check that out later. But it doesn't say until Nelsie leaves, though. So you don't you don't do whatever the hell you want to do in Christianity. Oh well, I'm gonna talk to someone now. No, it doesn't go like that. I haven't spoken to not one person since Reza left. Okay, to go to our mother because we argued and stuff like that. You know, and then everything is fine. And I already said <laughs> the other day that. You know, uh, we got together. Let's just put it like that. Okay, in Jesus' name. I, I lie not. My conscience bearing me witness of the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? Because I took the initiative. I'm not like Obed Vargas that's more interested in, in in watching a baseball game than when his wife comes in the house and to, 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 to make love to his wife. Take the initiative. She's probably coming in the house for that. And she's probably not coming in no more because, she, he, he, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't do anything. <laughs> you know? But... Obey wise is understand that he's not the Lord. He's he doesn't call the shots. He's not the boss. He's not the boss of anything in his regular life. He's not the boss of his wife. <laughs> she doesn't have it like that. He's not the boss. Of, uh, he's not the boss of his kids. They don't listen to him. He's not the boss of anything. He's not the boss of his job. He's not the. He's not in charge. You know. Until he's training somebody, and then he's really you know the supervisor over that person. But that's not every day. You know. Obed Vargas have to understand that he's not the Lord. And Jesus said, when Jesus calls something adultery, when, if you even look at something, you think that David committed adultery when he was having sex with Bathsheba? No. He was committing adultery when he saw her taking a bath already. When he lusted after her in, her in his heart. That was adultery right there. He didn't have to sleep with her. He's already guilty. According to Jesus, not the Jesus of the Tower, by the way. It's this man's appreciation or thought of Jesus. If he's living a life of rebellion that he doesn't care, he continuously talks to the, the, this girl. It's like the imperfect tense with this guy. You understand what I'm saying? And then this girl, this 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 so-called Christian, which is not acting like a Christian at all. Whether she's a Christian or not, I don't know. I can't see through her, you know? I could just see the fruit. And if she continuously talks to a married, talks to a married man, Obed Vargas, and he c continuously talks to a woman be while being married, Obed, Obed Vargas, they can't call themselves Christians. They're bearing bad fruit because she, he's still married. And now, like, when you, if you get a divorce or an annulment or whatever the case may be, then, then you know, and I don't know how the separation works over there in the United States. Maybe it works a little bit better than over here. Then you could, then you could talk to her. Now, whatever the hell you want to do. And then the attitude is like a defiant attitude. It's the same attitude that the that the people of Israel had. It's just a defiant, hard neck. You 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 
You stiff neck people. You know, you stiff neck. We're uncircumcised ears and hearts. You understand what I'm saying? You always resist the Holy Spirit. That's the thing. Is it well? Is it well? It, I mean, so he's showing tendencies of Jehovah's Witness uh, teachings in his so-called pseudo in his in his pseudo Christian life, his so-called Christian life. Okay, that's what he's doing. He doesn't think uh, well of the Holy Spirit. He doesn't think well of Jesus, and he doesn't care about the Father and His will. Why do you say to me, Lord, Lord, not, do not do the things that I say? Jesus said, don't call me Lord, Lord. Don't be crying to me and say how much you love me and stuff like that. And then you spit on my face and you, you don't keep my commandments. He it is who loves me is he who keeps my commandments. If you don't keep my commandments, you're a big fat liar, says uh, First John. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, the truth is not even in a person like that. So I, I, I bet you he didn't even accept my challenge of going to the pastor and going to his Bible study group, going to the church that he goes to. And asked them, what do you think about my situation? Should I talk to somebody while being married with Nelsie? I mean, everybody, hands down, will say no. I mean, every pastor who's a pastor. Now, if you, now if you care about numbers and that you're hurting somebody's feelings in, in, in order to get somebody in the church, I mean, well, then, you know, then you don't care about the word of God and you, you care about your stupid numbers, you know. Instead of having, you know, a, a, a 99, you have 100 now. Instead of having a, a, a 50, yeah, 49 now, you care about those stupid numbers, you know. That's the, the thing that dictates, you know, your your pastorship. You understand what I'm saying? But, you know, ex Jehovah's Witnesses, they're like that, man. They think very little of Jesus. Just because he's an ex Jehovah's Witness doesn't mean he's a born-again Christian. Just because he believes certain things, it doesn't mean it makes him a Christian. The, the demons believe in trouble, but they don't, that doesn't change their heart. They believe. They believe in the Trinity. They believe that Jesus rose again from the dead. We know who thou art, uh, the Holy One of God, they say. <laughs> you know? They say it better than some unbelievers. They, said it, they say it better than atheists, I'll tell you that. The problem with Obed Vargas is that I, I don't think he thinks too much of Jesus. He doesn't love Jesus. He's not, he's not acting like he does. That's a problem. Because you have a fake guy come into the church and then nobody sees it until maybe somebody has discernments of the spirits or has prophecy and they see what he's doing. There, there, there is somebody in the church that knows what Obed is doing because it was revealed already by the Holy Spirit. I guarantee you that. Now, whether that person talks to the pastor or whatever, this guy's coming in and he's talking to somebody while being married or he's doing some other things that are very dirty. Well, then, I mean, you know, that's already revealed to this person. There's, there's no doubt about that. No doubt about that. He thinks that it's not like that, but the church has ear, eyes, eyes, and ears, eyes, and, and noses. You understand what I'm saying? Smelling iniquity. And he continues to talk to this woman. He can't, and that's and that's and he's spitting on the face of God. And then and then he watches the Padre game, you know. And then he gets mad at them because they lost. But he doesn't get mad at himself because he lost. Because he's a loser from time to time. Doesn't get mad at his own. You understand what I'm saying? What indignation, what zeal. You see how the church felt, the, the, the church of Corinth, when they first heard the first epistle? What revenge. He doesn't have any of those uh, feelings and tendencies. See, this is, this, is, and this, is, and this is a dangerous man. When you have a wolf in sheep's clothing that just desires sex, well, then, not the word of God. Well, then you have a problem in the church. Somebody's looking at everybody's booty in church and outside of church, and when he's driving on the road and stuff like that, and whatever the case may be, on his computer and stuff like that, he can't deny it. Forensics will take his computer apart, man. Apart. And even, and even though he takes it apart and throws it away and buys another one, well, so what? Facebook and, and Messenger and all his, all his accounts has all the stuff Record it. That's the thing about about accounts like that. You can't delete them from, you know, Facebook has everything. Facebook has everything from me, you know, since uh, 2010. You understand what I mean? All my pictures, all my uploads, everything. Everything is recorded there. Everything. It's just a deal. So, uh, so you have to be careful with these ex-Jehovah's Witnesses who are still Jehovah's Witnesses. They just don't believe everything they believe anymore, but they, but they still hold to Jesus being the Archangel Michael. They still hold that there's no Holy Spirit. They still hold that there's no resurrection and Jesus, you know, it's really dead. And that's how, you know, that's how Obed is behaving. That Jesus is dead now. 
He's still dead to him. So he could do whatever the hell he wants to do. That's not Christianity. That's not. We have to continuously expose these people, okay? And if I were you, I wouldn't speak to Obed. If I were Atian, and I'm going to tell her again and again and again, I wouldn't speak to Obed. Because he desires Atian. He desired my wife, but he lost. You can't divorce anyway, but to get an annulment or any separation anytime soon. So you better look at your little, you know, pencil neck uh, geek of a girl that you have over there, Negros, you know, because that's, she, that's how she's behaving, like a pencil neck geek, you know. Not a Christian. You know, somebody who talks to a, 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 per, a person while being married is a pencil neck geek. That's all you are. You know, you can't describe uh, a person, a girl, a girl like that or a man like this, unless they say, you know, something. Let's just pull the brakes down a little bit, man. You know, the word of God says you have to respect. You have to fear God. That's what it says. It says to fear the Lord. Fear the Lord with all your heart and lead not. You know, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not to your own understanding. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and to depart from evil. That is understanding. Job 28, 28. Maybe Obed should actually write that down on his forehead. You know what I'm saying? Not literally, but just put it in deep, deep inside there. His head and his heart. Right under the tablets of your heart, you know? That's what that's what Proverbs said. So anyway, um, you know, it's it's a sad thing. And um, you know, I'm gonna be deleting these videos and stuff like that because I have no use for people like that. I have no use to continue. Um you know, rebuking somebody who, who who's basically dead. He's, you know, basically he's acting like a dead person. He's acting like a corpse. I mean, you know, he's just walking around, smelling up the joint when he goes in, ch goes in church, looking at everybody's derriere, you know, in church. There's no doubt about the people like that, though. No respect. No respect to Atiyan. There's no respect to my wife. This is, this is the first time he looked at her, he was quiet. Surveying, or maybe surveying, you know, around the well, the, the girls around the well, too, because there was a lot of girls around the well. I remember that, that I introduced him to my wife, and he, he, he was either quiet with, because he was stunned, or, you know, he was just looking around the well and seeing all these girls around the well. I mean, that's probably what it was. But he's, he was a vulture, man. Can't be looking at anybody, because you have a wife. You have a wife. And reconcile to your wife. Now, she departs, and you get a you know, divorce. I say, well, that's different. Then you can talk to whoever you want to, but not now. So he's just manifesting himself to me and other people that I have told, especially one from Florida and even Atian. I told her to be careful that he desires her. You know, you can't fool everybody in the church. You can't. You know, to, to, we have the, the the mind of Christ. So I wouldn't use this guy in the ministry, man. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even leave him with my daughter. I wouldn't even leave him with my daughter. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't leave Obe with my daughter. I, I wouldn't though. I'm just saying, I wouldn't leave my daughter with anybody, but I'm just saying, you know, uh, especially uh, guys, because that's just the way my mother taught me. I wouldn't leave anybody with my daughter, though, man. No one. Especially with Obed. I, I would leave her with Mariano Rivera, <laughs> Derek Jeter. Why can't I leave her with Obed? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, uh, what or why? Maybe I'll pick one Padre out of the pot, you know, out of the hat, you know, to, to <laughs> you know, I don't know the Padre stuff. I don't know, one stinking guy. You know? But this guy who had a sex operation, not to get, not to beget children anymore, is spitting on the face of God. I hate to say spitting on the face of God because it's so, but they did it though, while, while he was here. They spit on the face of God. Of Lagos, incarnate deity, incarnate love himself. And Obed had a sex operation. I Meaning he didn't become a girl. I'm just saying he had a sex operation. I call it a sex operation, you know. It's an operation so a man will not beget any more children. And it's very hard to reverse. So he wanted to play God in his life. So when did he get that sex operation? Before he became a, 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 a so called Christian? Or, you know, after. I mean, you know, probably when he was a JW, but he has the same attitude now. He probably would have got it now also. And you know something was, was grueling to, to, to them both? That right now, maybe they would love to have a child. Because that's what you want to do. When you get married with somebody, you love to have the child of that person or through that person and have one little child. Now they can't have nothing. 
See? They can go and sleep with each other and have sex to the to the blue in the face. They can't have a child. They can't. Because he took it upon himself not to have one. You know, to, to, to make it impossible. You see? Playing God. And what else the Jehovah's Witnesses they do. And then they bring them those tendencies over to this Christian church. This is disgusting, though, to this Christian church. It's just disgusting, though, man. The activity of overbargains, man. Absolutely, absolutely mind-boggling that somebody could just say all the right things, but then deny Jesus in his life. So, you know, you can have all the notitia you want to. Okay, but if you don't have fedukia, it doesn't mean anything, though. If you don't have a duke yet, you have nothing. You can have no tissue all you want to. So why? Well, a lot of people have no tissue. The knowledge. But for duke yet? Come on, man. You, not everybody has for duke yet. You know? Everybody has that. No tissue, so why? Like I said, the demons know. A whole bunch of stuff more than over Vargas. <coughs> but it doesn't change your life. So he could witness to this one and witness to that. And that's probably why his mother and father, I'm not father, but you know, the, what, the ones who are Jehovah's Witnesses in life, they see his life. They don't want his Christianity. For what? So they could have their Nelsies leave. So they could have their uh, Tommy's leave, or whatever you want to call it. So they could have their daughters not speaking to them anymore. No, they, they, there's no excuse. There's no kid coming. And then they, they have to make sacrifices themselves. I and mean, you know, they just scare rabbits, you know. Oh, well, if I believe, then, you know, then, then I'm going to be ostracized. And, you know, and, and all of this hogwash. You know what I'm saying? You know? But the thing is, like, Ove has to understand that, that he's in danger of really getting out of Christianity altogether. All he has is just a couple of lexicons. And that's all he has, man. That doesn't make you a Christian. Having lexicons and having books. It's like the book weren't on Batman, you know what I'm saying? He was a criminal. <laughs> he had all these books. You know, it, doesn't, it didn't change him, though. You know, that's why he told me that he doesn't study the Bible anymore. He doesn't go to church anymore. He has no excuse, though. He has a car. He can see well. He's in California. He doesn't have no excuse, though. He has no excuse. And we could walk to church. That's it. Indeed, that's what he told me he does. Sometimes. Well, at least he told me that a long time ago. But when you're speaking to someone and committing adultery, man, I mean, you know, it's very hard to speak to God, isn't it, though? Obe? It's hard, though. Isn't it, though? It's hard to speak to God. The God that you say you love, and then you're spurning him, you're spitting on his face, you're plucking his beard, you're putting a crown of... You're putting a nice crown of thorns, uh, a crown on, on Jesus' head, but it's just a crown of thorns. He's just, you know... Crucifying the Lord afresh all over again. That's what you're doing. Hebrews warns me of people like Obed. They're tasters. They're not born again. They're tasters. They have tasted of the heavenly things. You understand what I'm saying? They're just tasters, though. You understand what I'm saying? They tasted the good things to come and stuff like that. But they they, they, they weren't born again. It, 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 they weren't born again. They don't have the life of God. And indeed, if this guy wasn't baptized, he probably doesn't even have the Holy Spirit because you, you can receive the Holy Spirit in, a, in different ways. And one of the ways is by baptism. See Acts chapter 3. See Acts chapter, chapter 3. And then, I mean, some other chapters of, of Acts says, or at least one chapter or whatever the case may be, says that, you know, when the Word of God was preached, then the Holy Spirit fell on them. So we have to be fair. But if that didn't happen to Obed, the Word of God didn't fall on him. I mean, the Holy Spirit didn't fall on him. Well, then... The only other way that you can receive the Holy Spirit, maybe, maybe by the laying on of hands, but maybe that's just the gift of the Holy Spirit, the gifts, the charis charismata, you know. But the main vein, if you don't, if you don't get the Holy Spirit falling on you, well, I mean, I'm just saying that then, then you're not, you, then you're not born again because the thing is that you didn't get baptized, and so the Holy Spirit didn't come in you. That's 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 has that that's it. Okay, now if uh, Angela, were you baptized? Yeah, I was. I was baptized in a church called. Um, I can't. I'm not gonna call you. I'm not gonna say quote the church because maybe people be complaining about this video and, and say something to them. But you know, let's just say that in the Bronx, New York, in 1995, I got baptized. That's all. 
got baptized there. I'm not going to tell you the church. I mean, I have it on my videotape, okay? I got evidence of being, being baptized. I can put it easily, easily, you know, um, not easily now, but when I get my computer and I can put it up there, you know, just to preserve it, you know, because it's, it's just on one DVD. Yeah, I got baptized. You understand what I'm saying? So, I don't want to be talking about Obed too much. I already made a Bible study, the last one here in Don Pedro. And it goes into, um, you know, the God of glory, the Lord of glory, that it really means the same thing, proving that Jesus is God. The living God, you understand what I'm saying? But this this guy, this guy really, man, I don't know how he lives with himself. I mean, I don't know how he prays to God. I don't know how he goes to church if he's sinning. So how can you be sinning and going to church and reading the Bible and praying to God? It's like God is hearing you. We already know. He didn't hear the people in, in, in Israel when they were sinning, of Israel when they were sinning though, against him. Take away your religious songs. The heavens are as brass. Praying to yourself. <laughs> Basically, in Luke chapter 18, the guy was praying to himself. You can say a whole bunch of words, but God's not hearing your prayer. If you if you're not walking according to His will, I mean, He's not hearing your prayer, though, man. You can pray and you can sing and you can go to church and stuff like that, but a lot of terrorists go to church. We're warning in Matthew chapter thirteen. If you don't know Matthew chapter thirteen, you know nothing about the Word of God, about, about the gospel, nothing. That is the key to unraveling the whole Bible. Is Matthew chapter thirteen? That's the key. It's not the Apocalypse. It's not the Book of Daniel. Matthew chapter 13 is the key to understand the entire Bible. The key. And also uh, Romans chapter 8. You know, those two things. Hand in hand. Are the most important chapters in all the Bible. Those two chapters. Because it tells you the makeup of the church. It tells you the nature of the church. That it has elements of evil in it. The, or actually, the, the, um, uh, that, that too, but the, the, the elements of the, of the kingdom of God. That has, the kingdom of God has elements of evil in it. The woman uh, baking, you know, making uh, 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 leaven. That's, it has elements of evil in it. The birds and the trees and stuff like that. The tares and the wheat, you know what I'm saying? The goats and the sheep. And those are, so evil, it has elements of evil inside the kingdom of God. Not that God is evil. It has elements inside. So these people come to the church and they look like the real thing. They look like the real McCoy. It's hard, they're, hard, they're hard to distinguish. It's hard to distinguish, you know, over from a, from a child of God. He looks like a child of God. But then when you know his life, like I do, right, and like other people do, then you see, and maybe that's why, you know, Nelsie just left him cold turkey. I mean, you know, reason didn't leave me, though. You know, she's she's cooking for me, she's cleaning for me and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, um, you know, I'm, I'm leaving to to do a better life for, for us. So I told her one of the reasons I want her to stay there because I don't want the baby to get too used to me and stuff like that. So, I mean, you know. But 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 Nelsie left, and probably because he was unfaithful to her. He wasn't faithful already when 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 they broke up like 10, 15 years ago. I don't know. Obi could tell you. He told me that he was already seeking something. He was talking to somebody else that he already knew. He was talking to somebody already. And then Nelsie didn't have anybody. That's what he said. Nelsie was faithful to him, but Obed wasn't, though. And there's a problem with that. It's a problem. Because it has to do with nature. If you can't be holy, well, <laughs> even as God is holy, well, there's a problem with you. There's a problem, there's a, there's a problem with your nature, that you're not who you think you are. And then you're going to be like one of them saying, you know, God, didn't I do this? Didn't I do that? But Lord, Lord, didn't I, you know, you preach in our streets. And he's going to say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you, man. I never loved you. That's what it means in, in, in the Old Testament. When he, when he said, I never knew you, he meant really to say, he's going to mean to say, I never loved you. Now, that's up to Obed to come back and stuff like that. Like, the, like uh, you know, perhaps that man came back that was sleeping with his uh, father's wife in 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Well, it's up to Obed to come back like that. Now, I don't think he did come back. It was destruction of the flesh. Um... It was said that he was wronging himself, and then the people that came back, um, you know, was wronging the church. So I don't think that's the same person. There's a debate about that, that the person that reconciled, you know, I don't think it was him at all. But, I mean, that could be disputed. I mean, you know, that's neither here or there, you know what I'm saying? That can be, you know, proven 100%. 
doesn't mention a name. So that's the problem with that. For the destruction of the flesh that his soul may be saved in the day of Jesus. Can that be the condition of Obed? That, 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 that he's, he's, he's a child of God, but, you know, he needs to be disciplined like that? Well, I'm just saying. We don't know. All I know is what the fruit uh, that the, um, is be being bared by this man. And Jesus said, by the fruits, you shall know them. So um, adultery is, a, is, is a, one of the fruits of the flesh. That's a fruit. Karpos is the Greek word for fruit. Pear in Hebrew, you understand what I'm saying? And so, I mean, you show me that kind of fruit, adultery. I mean, you can't call yourself a Christian. And as a matter of fact, if you didn't get baptized, you can't call yourself a Christian at all. Because you didn't make a commitment to Christ. Baptism is a submission, it's a commitment to Christianity. Now, he asked me, honestly speaking, he asked me, I'm being honest with you, he was concerned about that because he said, he asked me, I mean, does it, kind of stupid as so, though, does the baptism in the Jehovah's Witness Church count for now? It does. Come on, man. It, this guy is in trouble. How can that count for now? How can he, somebody even ask a question? How can somebody being baptized, or however they get baptized in the Mormon Church or in the Church of Satan or even the Catholic Church, how can those baptisms count for the true? It's, it's, a, it's an idiotic question to ask. It's like somebody getting baptized in the Church of Satan, maybe with black water, who knows? <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? And, and how can somebody ask me if they come out of that church, you know, from California, by the way, I think that's where it was centered in the 60s, California, uh, 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 Anton Levain, uh, he, he, he died a long time ago. But they had the Church of Satan. So I don't know if they get baptized, but I'm just saying, what if somebody gets out of there, oh, I was baptized in the Church of Satan, does it count for now? I mean, come on, man, this is an idiotic question. The congregation of the Jehovah's, Jehovah's Witnesses are the Church of Satan. The congregation of, the, of, of demons, you understand what I'm saying? How can it count for now? They can't. It can't, it doesn't count for now. All right, guys, that's just the deal. I can go on and on and on with this guy, with this clown doll, which I affectionately love a lot. But, you know, conveniently, all the friends that can make him accountable disappear at the time when he, this guy so-called falls in love again. He falls in love again and again and again and again. And then everybody who's important to him, he makes disappear. That's all. He makes disappear. He makes disappear because I'm telling him the truth. So he, 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 see, I'm telling him the truth and he's spitting on me because I'm telling him the truth. He's angry. And so, so he's not showing the same spirit that David did. David wasn't angry at Nathan when he was telling him that he's, that he was acting like a bastard. David said, you know, Nathan said, you're the one. And David, you know, shut up and took, it took the, it took the heart medicine. You understand what I'm saying? But Obed is not like that. Obed doesn't have the Holy Spirit in his body. I don't think he doesn't manifest that power anyway. He doesn't manifest the, 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 the you know, the, the power of God in his speech, in his debates, in his teaching, in his, in his life. Obed Vargas, ex Jehovah's Witness, and probably still is. This Angelo Quinone is always giving glory to God the Father, to the Lord Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Spirit. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And that's why the crime of Obed Vargas of adultery is such sin, because he's not the God of the dead, but of the living. He's not the, 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 the God of the dead. But of the living. That's just all there's to it. And when you're acting, you know, dead. You know? That's a problem. That's a problem for the, for the church, man. Thank God that, that, that Obed didn't become somebody popular or famous in the Christian life because it would be another black guy. It would be another black guy like, uh, like, uh, like uh, Jimmy Swagger or somebody like that. It would be another black guy for the Christian church. So thank God that, you know, God did not see Obed Vargas to be uh, a famous, you know, popular, uh, you know, Bible teacher or evangelist or whatever you want to, you know, whatever you, you call it. Because it would have been such a black eye to the Christian church that, you know, oh, well, Nelsie left and now he's talking to somebody else. It would have been popular. It would have been famous. But, you know, you know, God knows what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't put somebody like that in charge of ministry. I wouldn't make him a deacon. I wouldn't make him a servant. I, he, he wouldn't even be in church. If I was a pastor, he wouldn't be in the church. He would be cast out. Because a little leaven leavens the whole lump. You understand what I'm saying? His life being dirty, being leavened, being unholy bread, with his teaching, with his life, can woo others, can lead others to sin in the same way. And so you have a whole bunch of, of bad pieces of bread 
making everything bad in the church, in God's kirk. That's the problem with Obed Vargas. You know, once a Jehovah's Witness, always. Unless they're born again, always a Jehovah's Witness. They have a very low opinion of the Holy Spirit and Jesus. And, actually, Yahweh, Jehovah. Just look at the couple that, that, that's been on the face of, uh, of Yahweh. On his name. They don't have any uh, high opinion of, of God the Father. And that's how, uh, that's how Obed is behaving in his life. It's not different. It's not different. You don't need to get on YouTube and deny uh, Jehovah's name and, and betray him like that. You could betray him in your own life. And you could cry all you want to. But, you know, the book of Hebrews says that, um, you know, it was sought after by many tears. But it was, it was boy, it was for nothing. Look at Esau. Thank you.